Hey and good morning everyone. So today I'm going to be putting together the crib I talked about in my last video. I actually got this crib from Target because the crib we wanted, which was part of that collection, is not in stock at Ikea, at any Ikea. Having a problem with their manufacturer and they don't have any more. They also don't know when they're going to have any more. So if you guys are ever looking for that crib, you're not going to find it. As far as I know, you're not going to find it. So we got one from Target instead. I saw a picture of it. Looks pretty good. I mean, I wanted the other one, so did Carla, so we're a little bummed out about that, but we got this one instead. So, you know, we didn't want to push it. We got our backup plan. We're good to go. But yeah, let me show you which one we got. So this is the Delta Children 3-in-1 crib from Target. Uh, I like it. It looks nice. I like how it has all the bars here. See, ha, I'm using my foot to point. But you see how it has all the bars here on both sides, all the sides? I like that better than having a flat side on one side and a flat side on another. I like the bars. Don't know why. I've been so used to IKEA instructions and IKEA products that are so easy to put together for me. So going back to something that's not an IKEA product, let's see if it's a little bit more of a challenge or not. This is all the pieces for it. It doesn't look that hard to put together. This is the instructions for it. So, the instructions don't look, the instructions don't look too difficult to read, but they do have all the numbers and everything on it that get me a little confused. I just like pictures. I don't care about numbers and letters and whatnot, but they look pretty simple. I mean, it looks like the other crib that we had before. Pretty simple put together. No problems, no fuss, no muss, but We'll find out if it's as easy as I hope it is. All right, so let's put this thing together. So instead of a bag, just all thrown all over the place, we have the hardware inside of this plastic container. So it's a little bit more neat and clean so I don't have to dig through stuff, but at the same time, I'm so used to Ikea. I'm probably gonna say that a bunch during this video because this is the first Ikea thing I haven't built in a long time. So we're gonna go ahead and start. Uh, it's asking for this piece right here, which is the D piece. And this right here, which is the C piece. And then we're also going to work on this as well. When they're telling you to do it, they want to make sure the label, you want to make sure the label is facing you. I like that because it tells you which way it needs to be. I mean, it works. So, and then it's also asking for the double A and the double C screws, which are the double A and the double C screws. To attach the screws, we have an Allen wrench as well. I'm not a fan of Allen wrenches. I'd rather just use a normal screwdriver for my bolts and my screws. If they give me an Allen wrench, I gotta use it. The double C screws go on the top side of the crib and the double A screws go on the bottom side of the crib. So the C side goes on the right hand side and the D side goes on the left hand side. So on this crib, they already have some plugs already put in here and built in. I like that. It helps you secure it better while you're bolting it in. That's very different and I like that actually because there's sometimes when you put things together and you use the screws and the bolts, it's a little wonky to try and keep them together while you're screwing stuff in. But this looks like it might be very helpful. Let's see if it is. So like I said, the double A screws are going to go on the bottom side and the double C screws are going to go on the top side. We also have our favorite little brackets as well. They sit right here on the inside of the crib. So they're also, they're double F's. So that's what you'll be looking for. They're on the top side of the packaging when it comes to the hardware. So on the top piece up here, we actually don't have to use one of those security brackets. So I misread that on my part, I'm sorry. But only two for those sides that go down at the bottom with the 
double A screw. So it's screwed in, sides on pretty good. I like the way this is gonna look. So the bottoms are secure, they look nice. I like the color. I like that it actually matches the changing table. One side of the crib already done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one actually off camera because you already saw me do this sides. So just rinse and repeat on the other one. Putting this crib together has been pretty simple. Uh, the biggest thing I liked, it actually matches the color of the changing station that we got. I was worried about not having like cohesiveness to our kids room, but it's coming along really nicely. Now I'm going to put the crib end tops on top of the pieces I just made and we'll move on from there. This is the crib end piece, the crib end top piece, and it's just going to go right here on top of the crib. To attach it, you have to go from the bottom of the top of the crib ends right here. The screws we're going to be using for for the crib end top are the double B screws right here. So I'm gonna put this one together and then I'm gonna do the other one off screen as well. Just, it's a little repetitive to do the same thing over and over again. I feel like I don't know if you guys like it or not. Let me know if you wanna see me put the whole thing together. But if you like it this way, let me know as well. Cause I feel like making a video too long isn't the best thing ever, but let me know. So once you get one of them in, it seems like it's a lot easier, but that first one is a little difficult, especially with the Allen wrench. I don't like using Allen wrenches, I personally, but I understand that they give you them just to make the stuff so you don't have to go out and buy like special screwdrivers and special tools and stuff. Uh, I'm going to use them in my videos though, just so y'all can see how to use them if you don't have anything at home that can help. But I do have screwdrivers and I do have interchangeable heads for my screwdrivers which would be a lot more easy than using this thing here. That's what it looks like with the crib top, crib end tops on it. I like it. This crib's pretty simple. I remember our last crib and I didn't really like it that well, but I have a really good feeling about this one. All right, so like I said, I'm going to do the other one off screen real quick just to get it done. And then let's continue on putting this crib together. So now we're moving on to attaching all the sides of the crib together. It's calling for the double D screws, the double D screws. And we're gonna use more of these attachment brackets as well. Uh, I like this crib so far guys. I have really good feelings about it. When you start to put all the sides together you want to make sure that the warning label is on the bottom of the crib because it makes sure it lets you know that the holes that you need to use the uh, attachment brackets are on the bottom side of the crib. Just a little tip. sides is on already let's get the other one on I'm gonna cut here again and then I'll show you what it looks like with both these sides on so with the sides on it this is what the crib looks like so far 
I still got to put the mattress holder in the bottom and I also have to put the other side of the crib on. I really like the way this crib looks guys. I think it looks really good. Super simple. Nothing crazy about it. I like it. So now I got to attach the bottom of the crib, the mattress holder. This is my least favorite thing to do when putting a crib together. It's so obnoxious. I wish I, uh, I wish there was a trick that I knew about how to do it. Maybe if you guys can tell me if there's a trick if you're watching this video, but it's just really obnoxious to put this together. So one thing I forgot to mention is the double E screws that you're going to use to put the bottom of the crib on that holds the mattress. Least favorite part of the crib put together. I, I hate putting this thing on. I remember putting the other one on for Havana when we first got the other crib, like over three years ago. No, and annoying. This is the worst thing to put together when you have to put a crib together. Let me know in the comments, guys. Do you also hate it too? We're gonna put the final piece on the crib, the other side. Uh, really excited to get this done finally and see where it's gonna go in the room. I'm just gonna attach this other side here and then I'll show you the final product. All right guys, this is the crib. It's put up and put together. Really nice looking, I like it. It's a little bit bigger than what we were wanting. There was a, the smaller one at Ikea was more of a low profile crib and that's what we wanted. But I like this, looks nice. Can't wait till little man's here. Less than 30 days guys, till his due date. Can't wait. That was fun, I like putting that together. It's a crib for a little man. Uh, really, really excited for him to get here. Can't wait. Uh, our first son. Can't wait. It's special. Like always, guys. Like and subscribe. And hit the notification button to always know when we put up new content. And comment. Did you like the crib that you saw? Do you like Target? Do you like Target furniture? Do you like Ikea better? I know I've said Ikea a lot. I'm just really addicted to Ikea furniture, but let me know in the comments, guys. Did I do a good job showing you how to go step by step? I like to get better at making these videos and your comments help. Until the next adventure, bye.